Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy, on Monday, November 8th, 2010. This is my week 85, I believe, and post-op, and week 16, maintenance, with my lap band. Um, my starting weight, 244.6, 86 weeks ago with that pre-op liquid diet. My goal weight, 145.6, 99 pound loss was my goal. Uh, 16 weeks ago, July 15th, I believe, um, I hit that goal of 145.6. Last week I was 143.8. Today I am 145. So I actually had a gain of 1.2 pounds. Um, not sweating it. Uh, uh, my weigh-ins are on Monday, and with my half marathon training, my exercise is extremely limited on Sundays. Uh, so, you know, all kinds of factors that could be involved in it, but uh, I'm cool with it. 145 is still below my goal, and I'm still wearing my size 2s, and uh, I feel pretty good. Um, my last video uh, was about me, and running, and my mom, and uh, wow. Uh, I knew uh, it's good to know uh, that when uh, I put a call out there for some help or support that uh, you're there, you know, all of you. Um, I heard from people that have been watching my videos for over a year, never commented until that video. So I read all your words, some of them I read twice. Um, thank you so much for all your good wishes and, and good thoughts and uh, support for myself for my family and for my mom. Um, you know, I'm gonna keep on trying. So, uh, I'll keep you posted on that. So, today I started uh, week three, um, half marathon training, day one. Uh, this week I've got two six mile runs. I did my first run tonight on the pavement. I got a new Garmin GPS watch. Um, and I used to work at Magellan, so it's very difficult for me to buy a Garmin. Um, but I did. Top of the line, brand new one. Love it. Can keep my pace, can see my distance, uh, can see uh, my average pace. Can, you can do every, anything and everything under the sun with this thing. Uh, so I ran tonight at sunset, and there was a cool breeze here, and uh, it was easy, really. Felt great. Um, to go that long distance on the treadmill is kind of boring, so getting outside and doing that run was pretty cool. Um, so I've got two six-mile runs this week, uh, one easy run day, uh, one cross-training day, uh, for sure one rest day, maybe two rest days, uh, and then a long run, uh, which will be 90 minutes, I believe. So probably about nine miles, something like that. So I'm going to do that outside too. Um, so I'm excited about the progress. Signed up for the turkey trot in Long Beach. Did that last year on Thanksgiving Day. And I'm doing that again this year on Thanksgiving Day. Did that this morning. Um, also excited about that. Uh, Mattia83, Christina, and her husband are going to be running that with me. And another friend, uh, Rika, uh, is going to run that with me. So looking forward to that. Um, a couple of non-scale victories that are kind of fun. Uh, got to the third loop in my belt notch uh, this weekend. And I was hiking with a friend yesterday, and there was a guy running up the hill, old guy. Uh, and he's, he said, and I gave him a thumbs up as he was jogging up the hill, and he said, Hey, Slim. Uh, and my friend Ron was like, He just called you Slim? <laughs> uh, I'm like, I think he did. So that was pretty cool. Um, and today I had a very narrow margin of space to get uh, into my car, my new car, without uh, hitting my car door on the car park next to me. It was such a narrow space, I took it, a picture of the damn space and sent it to a few friends to be like, I just slid myself through that. Um, so I've said it before guys, those non-scale victories, they are the glue that holds the journey together. And sometimes you have to look for them. Um, but they're out there, and they keep me going every day. Um, reading a book, I've shared the book with you guys to, before, um, Women and Food, I think it is. 
And there's something in the book that's pretty interesting. And, you know, so many people are always struggling to lose weight, us included, right? And some will go to any extreme to lose the weight, us included, weight loss surgery. And one of the things in there is losing weight might not be the fix to what's broken, right? Losing weight uh, with weight loss surgery or without weight loss surgery, we use it sometimes as a crutch, you know. Uh, I don't think that myself is included with that statement, but I watch a lot of videos and I talk to a lot of people and I have a lot of friends and uh, losing weight feels great, right? Um, but when you're struggling, you got to really stop and ask yourself, what, what is the issue here? You know, why am I eating when I'm not physically hungry? Why am I m mentally hungry? Um, if I'm not exercising, why can't I get myself motivated? You know? Um, there's some other root cause, possibly, to being broken. You know, we're human. Um, and we all have interesting, strange, long, twisted lives. So, I ask you, I ask you to think about that. Um, is it really the weight that's holding you back? Is it really the answer, losing the weight? Is there something else in your life um, that might need fixed or attention? Um, do you consider yourself broken? Um, and that losing the weight will fix you? Just food for thought. Um, <clears throat> so, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Uh, you know, my mom, it's a pretty serious issue. I found out today that uh, that cancer is everywhere. Her clavicle bone, her pelvis, pelvic bone, her arms, her shoulders, uh, her breast bones, um, some of her lymph nodes, uh, her spine, yeah, uh, everywhere. And uh, today was the first time I heard her say, ever, she wanted to give up. And you know what? I'm, <laughs> I've been pretty weak. Um, I have my moments. But as soon as I heard her get weak, I got really strong. And I said, you, th that, is, that is not what a sim says. You're not going to give up. Never give up, Mom. Never. You know, we're going to fight this thing. And we're going to fight hard. And... If we lose the battle, at least we know we went down fighting. So, uh, I found strength in all your messages to me. Every single one of them. And, uh, I, I really just can't thank you all enough. So, keep believing, uh, because you helped me believe. And, uh, you know, as I was running tonight, My aha moment is that you need all those bones, you know, and the lungs. Um, we need all those to move and to live and to operate in life. And uh, my mom's are ridden with cancer. Um, there's hope, right? And we're going to fight. And uh, they're going to try to fix it, you know, or slow it down. But think about that. Move your fingers. Move your arms. You know, stretch your body. Feel the motion. You know, like, don't take that for granted. You know, if you've got it to move, move it. Um, cause you're lucky, real lucky. You know, don't take your don't take your body for granted. So with that said, I thank you all so much. Mwah, really. Um, thank you. And my shirt, I don't know if you can see it, but every damn day, just do it. That's my motto this week. Every damn day, just do it. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.